Hello everybody, I am Lucas from Lucasarts, and today we are looking at some cool portal gels I've made in Minecraft, in real Minecraft of course, as always. So, I have recently been on YouTube um, watching some videos on the new game Aperture Tag, which is something that um, was originally a mod for Portal um, 2, and Valve made that into a game. It's where instead of using your portal gun in Portal, you would use um, actually a gel gun to fire the different gels. Now, if you don't know what this is, um, it's basically where you have to solve puzzles by completing different tasks, and you have these two types of liquids. One which is the blue liquid, this will make you jump higher and bounce. Then you have one which is the orange liquid, which makes you run faster. Now if I just spread this around a little, this is the clear one. Now you won't usually get this, however I just thought I'd add this in as a little bonus feature. So as you can see, you can run. You can run around very fast on this orange liquid. And then if I use this in conjunction with the blue, as you can see, I can jump very high into the air. So that's always a bonus feature, and then I can grab my clear, um, which is just something that I thought I'd add in, um, in the um, actual Portal Doom games, there was a clear gel, however, you can use that in Aperture Tag, um, which was a really cool game, and I will hopefully be playing it at some point by myself, just for a little bit of fun. So, a little more on how these gels work, basically they will replace any wool with a different kind of wool, this will indicate you have sprayed the gel on them. It will actually just spray the area below you, so if I was to walk over here, and not click that, click this, as you can see, I can spray this gel around by walking in the area of which I want it to be spread in. So now I can pull out my orange gel, as you can see, this will be spread again in this area. So this will be spread in a 3x3 three three area, um, basically. That is how it works, and as you can see, you can spread gels onto other gels. So now I'm just going to cover the rest of this square up. I'm going to try something pretty cool. So I'm going to run across here, and then the last moment I'm going to do a big jump. And as you can see, I got a lot further than if I was just to do a regular jump. But I had the speed from this orange gel. So you can do a lot of cool things in this, like portal game puzzles. Um, would be very cool to use in some kind of portal based map. But I'm just going to clear all this up with my clear here, and I'm just going to walk along the area and clear it all up. So now we are down here in the lovely red sun area, I'm just over here, uh, my gel platform is somewhere around the area, there it is. It's hard to see sometimes, it is white, but we have a little testing area here where I can show you the different effects. This line here is um, the effect for the orange and blue gel, so it's this one. Um, they each have one each. Um, this is the orange um, test for, this is the blue test for to make sure you're holding it. And this is the white test for and its effects. Here they are. So, how this works is in the center here we have a redstone block clock. As you can see here, we have set block Minecraft Air above it and set block redstone block below it. So, this is just a very fast clock if you haven't seen these before. If I just remove this, as you can see, it is just very quickly placing and removing this redstone block. I'm going to put this back there, and move those. So, what we have here, I guess I'll show you this one first. And this is just checking for Minecraft Wool 9 below you, which is actually what happens when you use one of our gels. So, actually, I'll go on to how I test for them first, and then I'll go on to this. It might make a little more sense. This here is testing for, um, test for at the selected item slot 0. This is testing... If you have this first slot here selected in your hotbar, then it says, um, I am slot 0, inventory slot 0B. And what that is doing is it is making sure that you have this one selected and it's telling this command block that this is where the name has to be. So it's saying that this item slot has to be selected and there has to be an item in this which is display name blue. So it's saying that you have to have the first slot selected and in that first slot there has to be an item named blue so this is what I have here, I have the blue gel in my hand and then when I grab this, as you can see this clock activates, now there will be a full list of commands in the description if I can fit them all in, I mean there is quite a few command blocks here 
but that shouldn't be too difficult. This is just a clock which is constantly running this command. So it's coming out of here, going into this repeater, and looping back around to itself, making a clock. So what this will do is it's executing at the player, and it is filling um, a square of 3x3 three three under their feet, so that's why I have 1, minus 1, 1. So that is basically, if I stand here, that is selecting this corner. And then it also says here, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. So that's selecting this corner. So it's filling this area to this area in that wool. So it's just filling that whole square. So it's filling it with Minecraft Wool 9, and it is replacing regular wool. So Minecraft Wool 9 is... Um, cyan wool. I thought cyan would look a little bit better um, and we have the same thing for orange wool and clear wool. So now the same dealio happens here with the orange wool however I have its name set to orange and I have it in slot 2 or 1 as it is called in commands. So basically in command box um, your hotbar isn't laid out the same way as usual. I can show you this a little bit better here. So basically, this first slot here, which we would all call slot 1, is actually called slot 0. This is slot 1, this is slot 2, and this goes all the way up to slot 8. However, we would usually call this slot 9. So when we say in a command block that we are testing for slot 1, what we actually mean is we're testing for slot 2. Which may not make too much sense, but if you just copy that command, which I will have in the description, um, you will be able to do this yourself. Um, then we have the same thing here, however, we're replacing it with wool 1. And wool 1 is actually orange wool. As you can see, this is wool number 1. That's its ID, I guess. Um, so that's how we fill the blocks underneath you. Now, how we give you that those effects is here. This is test um, execute at p test for block minus 1. So that is testing for the block underneath you. To be Minecraft wool 9 or cyan wool, as we were saying earlier. So it's testing for the wool underneath you to be cyan wool. So let's just clear that. In fact, we'll put that back so we can demonstrate. Then, what it's going to do is, if so, this repeater will give an output. It's this command block which will affect the player with a jump boost and it will give it them forever, which seems a little extreme, but we are going to clear those effects in just a moment. So, jump boost is number 8, it is giving it them for. Um, a long time, and it is also and it is giving them it by a multiplier of ten. It is also putting true so that the particle effects don't appear. And I thought ten was a nice amount because if I just show you here by jumping, it doesn't put you too high. I thought it was quite accurate to how some jumps would work in the actual aperture tag game. Let's try and get out of this hole. As you can see, it just brings us just higher than what I have the current ceiling level so you can get out of large areas like this so now we are going to move on to the orange one. Oh, it seems I forgot to place a command block there let me just grab it from here there's actually one more thing which this command does so after it gives you this effect it will then go on to turn this torch off so let's just turn that off ourselves pretend that that is turned off on grab a torch in our inventory. So what that will do is when this then turns off because you no longer have that blue wool underneath you, this torch will turn on and then it will power this command. Now I actually put that a little too far away and it will power this command which just clears the jump boost effect. So what that's basically doing is when you are not on the blue wool, it is clearing that effect from the player. I have the same thing over here so with orange, exactly the same as you can see it's testing for wool block number one, which is the orange wool is then giving them the effect 1 which is um, speed um, is giving it them forever and it is giving them by a multiplier of 5 because I thought that was quite fitting and I also put true there to um, stop the particle effects playing then we have this repeater going into this block and I have actually put this on one tick the reason I did this um, is so that it doesn't clear instantly is so that if you're setting something up so like this where you have a nice run up to a area of blue gel at the end here but it wouldn't instantly stop as soon as you got onto this gel ready to do your jump so you'd still have the feeling of having a little bit of momentum afterwards so let me just build this up a little bit more and switch away from that so now as you can see 
if we go along here, we don't have to, um, in fact this blue area is a little bit small, let's make that a little bigger, then we can jump on it very easily. So now it will give you the sense of having a little bit of momentum as you go onto that blue area, so you go forward a little bit further. So that is why we have this repeater before clearing the speed effect. So then that is how we did the blue and orange gel. Now if you want to know how to do the clear gel, here it is over here. We have another block clock here which just fills this area with the redstone block and then instantly removes it. So it constantly is looking for the item clear in the third slot of the inventory and it's also testing for if it is selected. As you can see if I select it, this clock starts up and what happens is that it will replace um, any wool. Oops, I clicked D there. So it will replace any wool with wool zero. It's replacing wool one. So wool one, as we remember earlier, is orange, and it's replacing it with wool with, uh, with wool zero. And wool zero is white wool. We have the same command running here. However, we are now replacing wool nine, which is the blue wool here. And the reason I'm not replacing any other kinds of wool is because maybe you have some decoration wool around your map, and if you just do it wool in general, it will not actually clear that area. So now, so guys, if you liked today's video, do leave a like, it's greatly appreciated. And of course, subscribe for more Minecraft content. Um, also, leave comments down below on what you'd like to see next time. But guys, that is all we have for today. Um, there's only one thing we have left to say today. We all know that. Yeah, goodbye.